right. Uh, so, okay, real quick, I just wanted to add to this a little bit. Um, this is the next day now, and I'm doing a little bit of a test now with the portability aspect of the Starlink uh, Gen 3. Um, so the way I'm going to be trying to use this is actually in my truck here. Um, and so far, it seems like it's working. Uh, so it's powered on, and I'm getting pretty decent uh, speeds. I'm getting well over 300, about 350 megabit down with about 20 megabit up. Uh, and what I have right now, it's kind of rudimentary. <coughs> um, it's not ideal yet. I just have the router kind of just sitting on the center console and the power supply kind of right there and whatever. Um, but my truck has this built-in inverter uh, that is able to supply 150 uh, watts of output power. And from what it looks like, uh, this whole entire setup of the Gen 3 uh, Starlink is able to be powered from that inverter, which is awesome. Um, I actually didn't think it was going to work, and I thought it was going to be drawing too much power for it to function. But it does appear that it is working 100%. Uh, so I'm going to throw a little bit of a speed test on the screen uh, to show what kind of speeds I'm getting right now. Um, also, so it's pointing in a direction, as you can see here. Uh, it's pointing sort of up and towards a little bit of a hillside with trees in the distance. Uh, but it doesn't seem to really be affecting any of the performance, at least right now. But yeah, so I'm going to put a little bit of a screen recording here to show some of the speeds that I'm getting with it currently <coughs> set up the way it is. So after rotating the antenna to be in line with what the app has said to do, it looks like it has put it right in line with where this tree is. And that is seeming to, seemingly contributing to quite a bit lower speeds because like I said, I was getting over 300 and now I'm only getting about 60 down. So it's pretty interesting at how <clears throat> much just a slight rotation and a slight obstruction can um, interfere with your performance. All right, just kind of giving a little bit of an update here again uh, with the uh, Gen 3 Starlink. Um, so this time here, I'm actually now driving down the road in my truck and I have the pretty big uh, antenna sitting on the dash. It's not really an ideal situation. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a test um, uh, and to see if this thing can be used while in motion uh, without actually enabling the in-motion data. And it looks like um, I'm able, actually able to do that. Um, currently, I'm running down the road at about 73 or so miles an hour. like we're good so let me I'm gonna switch over to the app the Starlink app you can see there it says we're online uh, periodically it will actually flip back and forth between online and offline um, which is to be expected because I'm driving down the road at a fast rate of speed and it has to try to keep up with all the different satellites but According to this, it, it is working, and then if I go and hit the speed test button here, and there we go, you can see the speed test is running, and I'm actually getting 150 megabits down. It's kind of going down now a little bit, but it's about 150 megs down, and roughly 21 to 22 megs up while traveling 70 miles an hour down the highway. So that's pretty crazy. Let me switch back to YouTube here. And now let's go ahead and try to play a YouTube video now. Uh, one of my videos currently I have on YouTube, so let's go ahead and click on it. All right, it's time for it. And you can see straight away, um, the video is actually playing now. Uh, pretty surprising, considering. Uh, and you can see right there, the phone is currently on airplane mode. There and it's so first connected to Wi Fi, uh, the Starlink Wi Fi, uh, which is so uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, such as the and uh, how I'm powering this, I actually have this inverter right here, this 400 watt inverter uh, that the system is plugged into. Uh, 
how this particular uh, antenna works while in motion. Um, it would still probably be recommended to get uh, the mini version uh, since it's a lot smaller and draws quite a bit less power so you're not having to use an inverter such as this one here. Uh, so you could just kind of get away with plugging it into a, a much smaller lower power source. But anyway, that's basically it um, for this little bit of an update.